Yo, what's going on guys, it's Polybus back with another video and I figured out that a lot of you want to know how to install mods for Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012 and get improved graphics, better HD effects and drive cars like this Toyota Supra MK4 which is not available in the vanilla game. And the obvious requirement is of course that you have Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012 installed somewhere on your PC. Because of the legal reasons, I cannot tell you where you can find this game, so you will have to figure it out by your own. And without further ado, the first thing you will need to know is where to find the mods. So there are four places where you can search for the mods. First is Nexus Mods page. Second one is Need for Speed Mods. Third one is Need for Speed Cars. And the fourth one is Need for Speed Add-ons. So on these four pages you will basically find all the mods for all the Need for Speed games, including this Need for Speed Mods Mod 2012. So once you find your mod, so I will go to Need for Speed Mods and find this Toyota Supra mod, you will obviously need to download the mod. So when you download the mod, you will open up the zip folder and in there you will see two files. You will copy those two files to your Need for Speed Most Wanted games folder. But first, let's find this games folder of Need for Speed Most Wanted. So games folder is a folder you specified where you want your games to be installed once you were doing the installation process. So I installed mine under the D drive and under Need for Speed Most Wanted limited edition folder. And once you have Most Wanted 2012 games folder opened up, you want to go to the vehicles folder and here you will copy those two files of the mod. But first things first, you want to back up those files. So I will just search for these two files and I will copy them to my documents folder. Just in case anything goes wrong with the mod, I can then restore back to original car. And once you've done the backup, just copy these two files to this vehicles folder. And as my next mod, I will install HD effects mod, which is also available on the Need for Speed Mods website. And as the name says, it makes the better HD effects, so the particle effects and reflections will be much better, like on this picture. So once again, click on the download link, open up the downloaded zip file, and copy the scripts folder and the DLL file to your games folder. And of course, when you're asked, always click replace all files and make sure that you have done the backup of the files before. And the last mod you need to achieve that perfect look for the Nitro Sweet Mods Wanted 2012 is this Remastered Textures mod, which will make all of the textures in the game in a higher resolution and in better quality. So again, click on the download link, which will download you the mod. Once you open up the zip file of the mod, you see that this file is called Global Resources. So this Global Resources file is actually going to be placed to the Hawaii folder of your Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012. So before you copy this file to the Hawaii folder, make sure to do the backup. And once you've done the backup, just copy it to the Hawaii folder and that's it. And lastly, I will show you how you can install some reshade presets like this realistic reshade preset. So you can download this reshade preset from the Nexus Mods page and once you click on download, you can see that the reshade program is required for this mod to work, but just ignore that, right now we will install reshade manually. So just click on download and the reshade preset is downloaded. But so that we can use this reshade preset, we need to first install the reshade. So just type reshade into your browser and go to the first search result, which is the reshade and download the latest reshade version. Then open up reshade setup.exe that you have downloaded and then you need to choose your game's exe file, so your game's executable file. So I will click on browse and I will go to my Need for Speed Most Wanted 2012 games folder that we located earlier and I will choose my exe file of this game. Once you have done that, click on next and then in the next step choose the DirectX 10, 11 or 12 version and click on next. Then in the next step check all of the effects and click on next. This will install all of the reshade effects and once it's done, click on finish. Now you can copy the earlier downloaded reshade preset to your games folder. And now we can launch the game. Once the game is launching, you will see at the top that some reshade effects have failed to load, but just ignore that message. And once you're loaded into the game, you can press the home key on your keyboard to open up the reshade menu and then choose the realistic visual in first with most wanted .ini file that we installed earlier. So this is the reshade preset and this will load some of the reshade effects that this preset was made for. And all of the mods installed plus the reshade, it looks something like this. But if you don't like the realistic visual preset, you can go back to the reshade menu with the home key on your keyboard 
I don't check all of the reshade effects. This will completely turn off the reshade. So now the only difference you see is the HD effects installed and the remastered textures. But now we want to dry our Toyota Super that we installed earlier. So I forgot to tell you that all of the car mods from Most Wanted 2012 replace the actual already existing cars in the game. So we need to go back where we downloaded our Toyota Supra mod and check which car the Toyota Supra replace. So we can see the Toyota Supra replace the BMW M3. So if we now go to the Easy Drive and choose the BMW M3, we will actually be driving our Toyota Supra. And here it is a beautiful MK4 Toyota Supra. This mod is really great, it was made in a very high detail, so the Toyota Supra looks amazing. The only downside of the mod is that it still has the original M3 engine, so the sound is a bit off for a real Toyota Supra. But hey, nevertheless, the mod looks amazing. And that's basically all for this video. This is how you can install mods for Most Wanted 2012 and enjoy it in a even better graphics and with the new cars added. So now it's your time to install some of the mods. If you have any questions about the mods, drop them down in the comments and I will try my best to answer them all. And if you found this video helpful, drop the like button and subscribe if you haven't yet so you won't miss any future uploads. And as always, have a great day and I will see you in the next one.